If you had ridden to school 50 years ago, that sound would have been mighty familiar to your ears. You would have heard it as you jogged along quiet country lanes on your way to and from school. You would have made your trip to school over roads almost free of traffic. What traffic there was moved so slowly you could depend on the other drivers to watch out for you. Nor were other drivers the only ones who were looking out for you. There was the pony himself. He knew the way, and you could be sure he'd take you to school and home again safely. Things are certainly different today. The schoolhouse has changed. It's a lot bigger and more pleasant place than it was 50 years ago. Inside, you study new subjects in addition to the reading, writing, and arithmetic of long ago subjects that will make your life richer today and in the future. But the way you get to school is one of the things that has changed most of all. Many of you ride on a comfortable modern school bus. And as for your trip being safe, well, a lot of people certainly work to make it so. The men who built your school bus have put in strong steel bodies non-skid floors, grab rails, emergency doors, and many other features, all with one idea in mind, to keep you safe. Your safety is important to the legislators of your state, the authorities of your school, your teachers and your parents, who have worked together to set up safety regulations along your school bus route. Your bus is inspected regularly, not only by your driver, but also by official inspectors to make sure your ride will be safe. And finally, there's your driver, who must accept personal responsibility for handling the bus in any situation. All these people take your safety very seriously indeed. But wait a minute. The most important person to your safety is you. No one can be more responsible for your well-being than you are. All the careful plans for keeping you safe can be undone by your carelessness. From the time you leave your home, you have safety duties to yourself and to all the other pupils who ride your school bus. Let's see how many of these safety duties you know. First, you must be on time at the bus stop. Your driver has planned to take enough time to be safe. It's up to you to help him carry out that plan. Being prompt will give you plenty of time to approach the bus stop carefully. If you must cross traffic here, wait until your driver or school bus patrol signals that it's safe for you to cross. But you have to do more than just be on time. You must be on guard. This Johnny on the spot may really be on the spot unless he learns to stay well back off the roadway while he's waiting for the bus. Going to your seat quickly without crowding or disturbing other passengers is good manners and it's good safety practice. It means that the bus can get underway again promptly without pitching you about in the aisle or bumping you into other riders. And once you've reached your seat and the bus is in motion, stay there. One bump in the road and you could end up as this fellow did, except that he was lucky. He didn't get hurt this time. It's always a temptation to find out what's for lunch. Not lunchtime yet? You're hungry anyway. Mmm, that's good. Mmm, 
That's bad. Making an obstacle course so the school bus aisle can trip somebody up, keep the floor and aisle free of litter. Sure, the other people who ride your school bus are good friends of yours, and good friends and good times go together. Of course, you don't have to be told that rowdy good times like this should be saved for another place. But sometimes you may forget that even orderly fun, shrill or loud conversation and laughter, for instance, can be an unnecessary strain on your driver. Practicing the school yells or singing the school songs while you ride is fine school spirit, but it can muffle or completely drown out sound signals that your driver ought to hear. Just in case your driver ever has to remind you about any safety rule, be a good sport and obey him cheerfully. It's pleasant after a day of lessons just to lean back by the window, to feel the breeze in your face, and not think about anything in particular. Uh-oh, here's a fellow who isn't thinking at all, particularly about safety. A narrow bridge, another car coming just a little too close to the bus, and willy-nilly there might lose that fascinating toy. Make sure you aren't a willy-nilly. Keep those toys and heads and arms inside the windows where you can keep them safe. You certainly wouldn't be guilty of treating the walls or furniture in your own home this way. Why treat your school bus any differently? Damaged, your bus equipment is not only costly and unnecessary, it can be dangerous. Dangerous to you or your fellow passengers if the damage is committed with knives or other sharp objects that have no place on the school bus. Dangerous to everyone if your damage involves any of the safety equipment on the bus. Never tamper with the fire extinguisher or any other safety device. When the trip is over, remain seated until the bus stops. Wait for the signal from your driver or your patrol captain if you have one, then unload in an orderly fashion. You have the same safety duties when riding the city bus as when you're on a regular school bus. If you must cross the street after getting off the city bus, be sure to wait on the curb for the bus to pull away. After the bus has moved on, go to the crosswalk, look in both directions, and walk across. When it's time to load up for the trip home, it's only the wise guys, not the safety wise, who push and shove. Watch out for the little fellows. Take care of yourself on those steps. That grab rail can be helpful, and it may prevent a painful fall. Well, here's your stop. You've obeyed all the rules and you're safe at home, almost. Remember the last important rule of school bus safety. Cross only in front of the school bus. And then only when you know the way is clear. Yes, your trip to school can be as safe today as it might have been 50 years ago. It will be if you too work, think, and act for safety. Your conduct will influence the conduct of those who ride with you, but most of all, you'll have the confidence that comes from doing your share to ensure safety on the school bus. <laughs>